Dear future Enoch, Summer is coming to a close, and boy has it been an interesting one. It wasn't nearly as action-packed as last summer, but I still got to do a lot of exciting things. One thing I got to do last Thursday was go to the CNE. The Canadian National Exhibition is an annual fair in Toronto that features a selection of live performances, street vendors, the craziest food options, and amusement park rides. Though its historical purpose has generally been an agricultural fair, it has also been a showcase of many technological achievements like the telegraph, the radio, and the television. It's also a sense of Canadian pride. This family doesn't do a lot of exciting stuff, so the last time we went was in 2014, which was eight years ago. Last Wednesday, I found out that I got laid off from my second job, which occurred once a week on Thursdays. So with Thursdays freed up, I decided to go to the CNE, especially after the CNE had gone through a two-year hiatus due to the pandemic. It was fun during the day, but I did lug around my tripod, which is holding the camera right now. Future Enoch here. I meant to say holding. I'm not sure where polling came from. I normally cache these things while recording, but this time I didn't, so screw me. Anyways, back to the video. And while the tripod made my backpack incredibly heavy and gave me neck pain, it was well worth it when the sun set and my day truly began. My goal was to do a long exposure of an amusement park ride at night. And boy, did I get what I want. While getting these photos, I noticed that there were a good number of other photographers around, also setting up the tripods and also getting long exposures of the rides. We photographers tend to look weird while out on the street, carrying our equipment and walking around and stopping and looking around. Things that generally get security guards to start following you. And if you've been shooting on the street for any length of time, there will eventually come a point where you'll be yelled at for the heinous crime of having a camera out in a public place. Gosh, what heresy. So when we see other street photographers, we have a bit of mutual respect for each other, and that paves the way for social interaction. Something I think the pandemic has shown we need more than ever. We mostly just chatted and shared tips and showed each other our photos. Nothing too special, but it was special for me. Because photography is generally a solo activity. I mean, there can only be one person behind the camera, and unless you're in a studio environment with assistants helping you, you're mostly working on your own. That sense of individualism can be problematic over time, so it's always important that you connect with other photographers. To be part of a community. To see that you're not the only photographer out there. To have people you can relate to and learn from. To have people who can stick up for you. But perhaps, most importantly, so that you can all look weird together. Future Enoch, I'll see you next week.